right, what is up? It's your boy Johnny Shreve, IFBB Pro Mr. Tell like it is, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Train With Me. Today we're gonna go over some better options for squatting for those of you guys who cannot squat that good, have problem squatting, or just want another option that want to lower their back with a barbell. Anyway, before we get started, guys, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that notification button so next time I put a video out, we'll be the first ones to get it. Anyway, let's get it started. We're gonna go over goblet squats, how to probably do them, how to probably approach them, and how to activate, all the good stuff. So follow along, got Erica here again to help me out. And we're gonna give you guys the most simple, explained way to do goblet squats, optimizing good neutral spine, hip flexion, deflection, the works. Okay, so some big points when we're doing goblet squats is, number one is actually holding it. So for the most part, when people hold goblet squat or goblet, kettlebell or dumbbell, or we wanna call it, we get too much people holding it like this. So pick it up. So if you're holding this way and when you're holding like this, for the most part, sometimes we want to press too much here and then we end up bowing our shoulders and trying to pull and push with our shoulders and then we get this kind of rounded back, which you don't want to have a rounded back. So what we want to do is make sure when we're actually holding it that we get ourselves our hands underneath, letting the weight naturally Drop her elbows down, she have good shoulder depression. So drop those elbows, good. Lats are engaged. Cool, so we have that all together. Now, feet, don't show with apart. We are comfortable and don't be squatting. I always say 11 o'clock, one o'clock. Let's just pretend that the middle of your crotch is 12 o'clock, this is 11 o'clock, this is one o'clock. We don't wanna to go too, too wide because if we do, we won't be able to do proper external rotation. External rotate. You can't get as much. So when we get a little closer and our feet not as pointed as much, then when we do externally rotation at our hips, go ahead, then we have a lot more and we can put that pressure right into our glute medius. Right, so now we're done here, keeping the chest up. We're gonna bend at our hips and our knees at the same time. So we wanna do our back first. So do the whole back and then go first. Yeah, and up. So we don't wanna do a hinge motion first and then squat. We don't wanna do this whole thing where we're doing this and then squatting. We wanna do hips and knees bending at the exact same time. So go ahead, hips and knees are gonna bend the same time. Then we have a flat back and we can get all the way down and that back stays flat all the way up and come back up. Good. Now, we're gonna try a little bit more to get our elbows in a little bit further. There you go, closer. And we can open our hands up a tiny bit more so we're on the outside, good. So then naturally, that weight's gonna pull our elbows to the floor more, creating more lat activation or shoulder depression. And then we can go down, bending hips and knees at the same time, down and up. And when I say externally rotate the hips or pretend like there's a piece of paper on the floor and you're trying to rip the piece of paper, we're trying to do that, but I'm not saying continue to do that so your feet end up kind of coming out more and more and more and doing that. All I want you to do is externally rotate so our knees are in line with our toes the entire time we go down. So squat again, and we have good knee aligned with the toe, and then up. Good. Now, for most of you guys out there who don't have that dorsal flexion or ankle flexion and your butt rolls a lot underneath, we can just fix a little bit of that. And you can take this with you doing, if you're doing like barbell squats as well too. But what we can do is, we want to elevate our heels. So we're gonna drop the weight. Grab some your heel lifts. Now, the important part about doing this, when you're adding this, is to make sure that your, only your heel is on the elevated part of this. You can use like a wedge or even like, you know, um, plates, but we don't want our arch of our foot to be on here. Now, since we're elevating our heels, it doesn't mean push more from your heels. All it means is, is to push it exactly where you were before, push with your toes and your heel, that center of the foot, everything should be active on the ground and pushing from the ground. Go ahead, let's do it again. So we're gonna get her to do five reps, and then when they're done, so to make things easy for you guys, when you finish actually doing this set, most people finish here, then they just put the weight down like this. Easy way to do it, finish your set at the bottom last set and then just drop the weight there. Instead of doing this kind of stuff, finishing then blah and drop the weight and you're like, my back hurts, ugh. Anyway, so let's do five reps. See the difference between her back, be more straight, control, hips and knees at the same time, up. Two, and you can see her knees stay aligned with your toes. 
We're gonna keep driving out, make sure we don't have that, our ankles caving in. Good, and one more. Oh yeah. Good, and then finish at the bottom. And then just drop your weight. And there you go. So, next time you guys are doing any kind of leg workout and you're feeling like I don't wanna load the bar uh, on my back, um, or you're not really comfortable doing squats, or you're not really good at doing squats, this is a really good option to do to give you guys the same motion as actually doing squats, only you have to lower your back, and it's actually gonna help you become an overall better squatter doing this to start. So, if I was to be any of you guys who are beginners, start with goblet squats. Again, we're using a dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell, you can even use a plate. Again, the biggest tip is when we're actually holding it is to make sure we let the weight pull our shoulders down a nice high chest so we have good shoulder depression and activate our lats. That's gonna keep our neutral spine the entire time instead of our back being rolled by trying to press too much like this, trying to hold the weight like that. Anyway guys, give it a try and tag me in when you try it. Anyway guys, hope you liked the video guys. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you guys purchase my ebook, the ultimate push for legs training ebook is out right now guys, johnnyshoot.com, pick it up. If you want to know about coaching, guys, book a phone consult of 15 or 30 minutes at the end of the consult if you want coaching, whether it's one-time plan or a recurring plan, add a doctor consult off any package you pick except for the ebook. So grab the ebook or coaching or phone consult or all three, whatever. Do what you want to do. Anyway, guys, make sure you guys use my code Johnny15 for 15% off the Power 13 cookbook. Use my code Johnny15. Use our code Johnny for 15% off at FinRB.com. Also, guys, use my code Johnny30 for 30% off. Let's get checked. Make sure you guys are good in the inside as well as the outside, guys. Also, add me on Instagram and TikTok. And that's about it. Instagram, TikTok. No one really uses Facebook, do you? You guys don't use Facebook, do you? Probably not. Anyway, TikTok, Instagram. Hit me up. Send me your foodie pics, your training clips, progress pics, whatever it is. I'll repost it for you. Because you know how it is. Iron sharp is iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.